Captain Demetrius and his group of diving experts were returning home. Due to a storm, they stopped at a small island called Antikythera. They started to wait until the storm was over. And so while waiting, they dived into the sea to find some sea sponges, except for the captain. After half an hour had passed, one of the diving experts ran towards the land, screaming. He came in very shocked. He said that he saw something very strange in the ocean bed. But the captain didn't take it seriously, as he thought it was because of him being unconscious due to his excessive inhalation of carbon dioxide. Finally, to prove him wrong, the captain dived into the ocean as well. But what he saw under the sea was very shocking. It was an ancient ship. There were copper statues all around it which at first sight might seem like human beings as well. In the months that followed, the Greek government organized more diving expeditions there. After several tests, they realized it was a ship from ancient Rome. Not only that, but it was 2,000 years old, too. They found it because of the fact that all the tools found from the ship were very similar to the tools they got from the Roman cults 2,000 years ago. They began to find statues, ornaments, and ancient coins from it. It was during the midst of discovering all this that they came upon an unusual device. Even though it was 2,000 years old, its operation was not like so. It had a working mechanism on par with today's technology. The question of how such a device was made in those days shocked everyone. It was a tool that turned all our thinking and opinions about the people of that time upside down. The news startled the outside world, too. So what is this device? How does this work? No, leave everything. Was this even made by humans? They found it while collecting coins and other things, a box, and inside that, a figure made of copper. Even though they didn't take it seriously at first, that thought finally came to them. Why did they store this specific item inside the box but not anything else? Why did they pay close attention to this when several other precious things were lying around? They realized it must be an extraordinary item. Soon, they started to study the object intensely. After several tests, they realized it. It was not just a mere figure made of copper. It was a machine with a complicated mechanism. But in the time when it was invented in 1902, they didn't have technology advanced enough to comprehend this. Without any other way, they gave it to a museum. And so it stayed there for several years. During all these years, the archaeology department was unable to identify why this device was built, how it worked, or what its name was. This continued till the Second World War. They decided to give a temporary name for this device. They named it after its mechanism and an island from where this was found, Antikythera Mechanism. Time passed. The technology in our industry kept on growing. This device continued to stay in the Greek Museum. During that time, discussions about this device resurfaced among people. Some supernatural links began to come over this device. Stories began to spread in Greece that ancient humans had contact with aliens and that the device was made from them. Later, all this came to the attention of the government. So as not to create misunderstandings among the people, the government decided to immediately investigate the device. But there was a problem. This device could not be completely dismantled. This was because the machine was merged with rocks and stones as a result of lying in the sea for many years. Even if we tried to separate them in the right way, the risk was very high. This was due to the fact that there was no way of saying which was the machine's part and which was the rocks. Therefore, a powerful X-ray machine was needed to understand this. At that time, only England had such a powerful X-ray machine. But it was difficult to take this device from the museum to England. Thus, the X-ray machine was brought from England to the museum. They began the tests. Everything they saw in the X-ray machine was unbelievable. They realized that even today, sculptors wouldn't be able to make such a device. It had a very different mechanism. The machine had 41 different gears. In doing so, they concluded that an extraordinary mathematician might have assembled the parts of this machine. Research continued. Gradually, a variety of truths began to emerge. 
They discovered that it was a computer, which was used 2,000 years ago. But it didn't look like the computer we use today. It was a device that works like an astronomical clock. Through this, we can know the exact position of all the planets in the solar system. All we have to do is enter an exact date into a gear. Then the device can give the position of the planets, the position of the moon, and the angle of the sun from the Earth on that date. The accuracy of all this was very sharp. In addition to this, it could also find solar eclipses and lunar eclipses and predict how long they last. Michael Wright was one of the people who researched this device. Using the X-ray report he received, he made a device in the same style. Many types of research are still being done using this device. The main confusing problem with this Antikythera mechanism is that the clocks we use today were invented in the 14th century. But such a sophisticated machine had been built even before that. Moreover, there are no references or evidence of this anywhere in our ancient times. How could this mechanism have been built? Who built it? As such questions exist, there are many conspiracy theories around it today. Let's take a look at some of them. Aliens This is one of the most popular theories about the Antikythera mechanism. This theory suggests that some humans in those days were related to aliens from an advanced civilization. This device may have been made by humans with their help. Time travel. This is a slightly different theory. Although this Antikythera mechanism was used over 2,000 years ago, it still took centuries for this one technology used in the machine to reach man. This may be evidence of time travel. This means that the machine may have traveled to ancient Greece via time travel. If we ask who made the time travel, it's probably because of us. That is, we may have invented time travel technology in the future and built another antique machine and put it in ancient Greece. Another antique machine may have been made by us already, and yes, it may have been a machine made by Michael.